This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. I know I talk a lot about uh, hypocrisy <laughs> in my videos, uh, and that is because it is on display in Washington, D. Certainly, uh, it is on display a lot, but over the course of the last five years, with Donald Trump being ever present in our minds and our lives, it has been fully on display from the fact that his son calls him a blue collar billionaire, the germaphobe who who hates being around the regular common folk or or just every single uh, projection item that they that they enter into talking about Joe Biden being feeble minded while Donald Trump brags about his uh, cognitive test that is. Is this a giraffe? Is this a goat? Remember these words. What series? Of, it's like easy test just to make, uh, to, to be able to determine whether someone is cognitively um, intact. Not a hard test. It's not some entrance, entrance exam for an Ivy League school. Anyway, I'm going off the rails here. Uh, hypocrisy, projection. That is what we do. Uh, that's what we, we have witnessed we've been suffering through over the course of five years. And it continues. The Republicans have a very short memory of exactly (laughs) what took place during Donald Trump's administration. And no person has a more short memory, a shorter memory than Kayleigh McEnany, his former uh, press secretary. Watch this clip from Fox News and make sure you're sitting down because it is a remarkable thing to behold just how short her memory is. And I have a question after the clip. As long as there's an American stranded and these pictures keep coming in of Taliban hitting people, of people screaming, chaos, that's going to be a big dark cloud that's going to hang over his head. And you got open borders, you got crime, you got gas prices. This is just a nasty mix of things that a lot of this stuff didn't need to happen. Right. We are eight months into a Biden presidency, Jesse. Wrap your head around that. We still have three years and four months left. Look, when President Trump was president, you didn't see crisis after crisis. You just didn't see it. I I shudder to think about what COVID would have been like under Joe Biden. We've seen Afghanistan blow up, crime in the streets, you named it all. What would COVID have been like? Because I was in the White House when it was pretty scary times. We weren't sure if we'd have enough ventilators, uh, but we were able to produce it with the private sector. I watched President Trump oversee a vaccine in record time, produce four working therapeutics. Do you think Joe Biden could have done any of that? The answer is absolutely not. The guy was five hours and 20 minutes late to his speech today. (laughs) Is she kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding, Kayleigh McEnany? Crisis after crisis, you act like it was smooth sailing during the Trump administration? It was nothing but crisis and controversy from from the, uh, the the inauguration fiasco to the insurrection on January 6th. Nothing but crises, nothing but controversy, nothing but scandal. Do you forget that your guy was impeached twice? Kaylee McEnany? And yeah, you know what? I can't imagine. Joe Biden being president during COVID, because he is now. And other than a few disparate Republican strongholds like Florida and Texas, the country is doing better. Are we through it? No, we are not. And why is it that we're not through COVID yet? It's because of vaccine hesitancy, largely with Republicans, white uneducated Republicans, Donald Trump's bread and butter. So please, with the nonsense, and here's the question, is is Kayleigh McEnany stupid or is she relying on the fact that Republican voters are stupid? Or are they not stupid, but she just thinks they are? A series of questions, I guess. I don't think she's stupid. 
I think she knows what she's doing, but she is hoping, betting on the fact that Republicans will will drink the Kool-Aid no matter what flavor, no matter how much cyanide is laced in it. Saying that crisis after, come on. It has to be that she believes the base to be filled to the brim with morons. Anyway, what do you think about this? You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. You can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. I would love to connect with you there. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. (laughs) For now, for now. Um, I would ask that you consider, if you're in a financial position to do so, consider supporting my work here on the platform for as little as $2 a month. You can become a channel member by clicking the join button below, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. All of that goes a long way. If I was able to marshal the size of my audience, if one or 2% were to sign up for two bucks a month, we could grow this operation. It's something really fantastic. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you next time until I do be genuine and take care of one another.